questioning the dollar's reserve status and why Bitcoin is the answer. Next on your four minute Bitcoin. Today's show is from a post by Tony Spilatro at Bitcoinist and brought to you by BitBlockBoom. This week, the dollar currency index, the DXY, tanked, letting other currencies and assets like Bitcoin thrive. The recent fall has prompted Goldman Sachs to question the dollar's global reserve reign. Could Bitcoin truly be the answer to the dollar's dwindling stronghold? A team of Goldman Sachs analysts and strategists told Bloomberg this week that global debasement fears surrounding the dollar, well, they're mounting. Ongoing stimulus efforts squandered global leadership, and the poor response to the pandemic has weakened the once powerful national currency. The team, including top Goldman strategist Jeff Curry, says there are real concerns around the longevity of the United States dollar as a reserve currency. Curry and the team point to gold as a potential currency of last resort, but they're missing the more obvious solution, Bitcoin. As the dollar fell this week, Bitcoin, gold, and other assets traded against the U.S. dollar rose more sharply as a result. The deviation between Bitcoin and the U.S. dollar is significant due to the role the dollar played in the recent global market shakeup. And while Goldman Sachs is recommending gold to take the position of the dollar as the global reserve currency, Bitcoin is by far the better choice. Goldman Sachs strategists have made wildly accurate calls in the past, but a recent report made headlines in the Bitcoin world for getting it all wrong. The investment powerhouse released a scathing report saying Bitcoin is not an asset class. Immediately the failure to recognize Bitcoin's over 1 million percent return on investment from its climb from virtually worthless is apparent. But there are many other reasons that Bitcoin is a better choice than gold for replacing the global reserve currency. Sure, paper notes could represent ownership backed by gold as had happened in the past, but the world is moving increasingly digital. Gold exists in a physical form, and any digital means of holding gold involves other parties having custody of the asset. Bitcoin, however, lets you be your own bank and is a contactless solution in today's post-pandemic world. Bitcoin offers plenty more reasons beyond just that, including better visibility, durability, transferability, and digital scarcity. All of these attributes make Bitcoin a clear solution to all the issues currently facing both gold and the dollar, making it the best answer to the question, what will replace the dollar as the global reserve currency? Let me know your thoughts in the comments as always. In this episode, what's well, brought to you by BitBlockBoom. The Great Bitcoin Conference is coming to Dallas, Texas in August. And I say Bitcoin Conference because, well, Bitcoin's all we talk about. We don't talk about altcoins. We don't talk about blockchain, just Bitcoin. So if you're interested in Bitcoin, take a look at bitblockboom.com. I hope I get to meet you in person at BitBlockBoom in Dallas. I'm Gary Leland, the Bitcoin Boomer, and thanks for joining me on another 4-Minute Bitcoin Show. This is a bitblockboom.com production.